In the new version of Spoolstock, we've done our best to add as many features as possible to make the management of your filament and spools as easy as possible, so it will fit perfectly into your workflow. One of those features is the ability to print labels for each specific spool. That way, when you're creating a new print or you want to make modifications to a spool, you can simply scan that spool to bring it up. We have a couple different ways to access the print queue. Let's start from the main filament page. So from here, you'll see we have our list of filaments, and to the right, you'll see the number of spools associated with that filament. If you tap on that number, you'll be presented with a list of spools under that filament. So in this case, if I tap on that spool, I'm presented with the spool details. And if I tap the three dots on the top right corner, you'll see I'm presented with a menu with additional options. From here, if I tap on print label, it gives me the option to navigate to the label print queue. I'm gonna say yes. And here I'm presented with my queue for spool label prints. Now, let's say I wanted to print labels for multiple spools. I can just go back to filaments and I can select another spool, tap on that, tap the three dots, print label, and I'm not gonna navigate this time. And I can keep doing that until I've got all the spools I want in the queue. As you can see in the top right corner, that number is updating based on how many spools we currently have in the label print queue. Now there's also a shortcut for this. So if I pull up this spool, if I just tap and hold on that spool, it will automatically add that spool to my label print queue. So if you need to print a whole batch of labels, you can do that easily just by finding the spool you want, tap and hold and add it to the queue. Now if I tap in the printer on the top right corner, You'll see here's all those spools that I've previously added. And then below, I'm presented with a menu with options for what type of label I'd like to print, what size label I'd like to print. From here, select the units. So in my case, I'm using millimeters. You can also select inches. And then select your width and height. We've provided some common widths and heights, but if these don't meet your needs, just tap the edit button on the left and you can manually enter them. So I'm gonna use this width and height which seemed to work really well for my printer, and tap Print Labels. Now I'm presented with what is actually a PDF, including the labels for all the spools I'd like to print. So from here, you could transfer this to a computer if you wanted to, or you can print directly from your phone. My label printer is connected to Wi-Fi, so I can print directly from my phone. So I'm gonna tap the Share button on iOS, and scroll down to Print, and now there's my label printer automatically selected, the Brother QL810W. And I can select what labels I'd like to print. And if I tap print, they'll print out one at a time so I can easily label my spools. When you're done printing your labels, we give you the option to remove these labels from the print queue since you're already done with them. So in this case, I'm gonna hit yes. Now, let's say you were just starting off and you had built your inventory in spool stock and you wanted to print a label for every spool. Now you can do that easily from the top right corner here too. Tap add all spools to queue. And now all of my spool labels are in the queue. I can hit print and a new PDF will generate including labels for every spool in my inventory. And we can of course perform the same action from the filament details screen as well. And that's label printing in spool stock. Thanks for watching.